We have more breaking news tonight here in the state of Indiana, where state lawmakers have just voted this afternoon to override the governor's veto on a bill that prevents transgender girls from playing girls' school sports. The Senate's vote coming just within the last two hours. The law is now set to take effect this summer. It's already facing legal challenges, though. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escow joins us now live from the State House to break down the votes. Kristen. Well, the lawsuits are already being filed soon after this veto override was approved. Most Republican lawmakers voted in favor of overriding the governor's veto. And since Republicans hold the supermajority here at the Indiana legislature, that means they had more than enough votes to override the governor's veto. They only needed a simple majority vote in both the House and Senate to do so. Now, under this new law, anyone identified as male at birth will no longer be allowed to play on a girls sports team at a K through 12 school. Supporters of the law have argued it's about ensuring fair competition in girls sports, while opponents have argued the legislation unfairly targets transgender kids and is unnecessary. Democrats and others who have been critical of this legislation accuse Republican supporters of funding lawsuits against the state. And as we mentioned this afternoon, the ACLU has announced it has filed a lawsuit on behalf of a transgender girl in elementary school who will no longer be able to play on her school's softball team. Today we spoke with Democratic and Republican legislative leaders about the possibility of this kind of legal action. We got a supermajority that came back today and cost the taxpayers a lot of money, not only to pay our per diem, but also to pay for a lawsuit that they know this very same language has been challenged in other states and been found to be unconstitutional. Protecting girls' sports, that's what our focus of the bill is. And, and again, we feel good. Attorney General, I understand, feels good about defending this if there is court action. And, and uh, we just think, we believe it's the right public policy for Indiana. Now, Indiana's Attorney General has promised to defend the state against any lawsuits. The law is set to take effect July 1st. Now, earlier this year, the IHSAA spoke in support of the governor's veto against this legislation. It was neutral during the debate on it, and then once the governor vetoed the bill, the IHSAA spoke in support of the governor's veto. We have reached out to the IHSAA for comment following the veto override vote today, and we're still waiting to hear from them. We'll keep you posted on that. For now, we're live at the State House this evening. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. We did speak to Governor Holcomb before today's vote. He declined to comment on the potential backlash to this bill and said that he still agrees with the, the decision. Now, I stay focused on my job at hand, and, and I've, I've um, been quite uh, blunt about my uh, difference of an opinion on, on this issue. There is no problem. Um, in the state of Indiana, the IHSAA has been handling it, has handled it, would continue to handle it um, in the future. The governor disagreeing there with lawmakers uh, on that move today. We'll have more reaction to that law and the legal challenges against it later tonight and coming up Sunday on In Focus, where we'll also have more reaction to this tragic news today out of Texas.